Hey guys, this is Kyle with Method Learning, where we help students achieve more academically. In this video, we're going to talk about the five most important things that you need to know about the new digital SAT. Number one, when the test is going digital. If you're an international student, you will begin taking the SAT in a digital format in March 2023. If you're a student in the United States, you won't until spring 2024. However, if you're going to be a junior in the 2023-2024 school year, you can take the PSAT digitally in the fall of 2023 to prepare you for taking the digital SAT in the spring of 2024. Number two, the digital SAT is adaptive. This means that not all students will get the same test. In fact, no two students will get the same version of the test. The way it's going to work is that there's going to be a reading and writing section and there's going to be a math section. In each of those two sections, there's two modules. The first module for reading and writing will be given to you. And depending on how you perform on that module, that's going to determine which second module you get, whether it'll be an easier one or a harder one. Now, if you are routed into the harder module, then you have a chance of getting a perfect score at 800 on reading and writing, and the same with the math. However, if your performance on the first module isn't so good, and you're routed into the easier second module, you have no chance of getting a perfect score, even if you ace the entire second module. You're gonna obviously need to perform your best throughout the whole test, and if you get off to a rough start, you possibly might not have a chance of getting into that harder module, which is going to limit the score that you can get on that section. Number three, the digital SAT is shorter than the current pencil and paper version. This is because the test is adaptive, and so in a shorter number of questions, the SAT can figure out what score corresponds to your performance on the test. How much shorter? Well, the current SAT takes about three hours to complete, while the new digital one will take around two hours. Number four, there's no more long reading passages. So if you've ever seen the current SAT, you know that on the reading section, there's a really long passage and there's about 10 questions that go with that passage. And this is very difficult for many students. On the new digital SAT, there's not gonna be any long passages like that anymore. So each question is gonna have its own individual little mini passage that goes with it. And this could still pose some difficulty for some students because we're constantly switching the topic um, and we're gonna have to read something new every question. However, it does eliminate the stress of having to grasp the main idea of what's going on in that one big passage. And if you don't know the main idea, then those 10 questions could be very difficult. So on the new SAT, hopefully you find that if you struggled with the long passage in reading, that we're not gonna have to deal with that anymore. So that's one big change to the test itself. Number five has to do with the math section. There's no more no calculator section to the SAT. So starting on the digital SAT, you can use your calculator on any math question that you want. And even better, the SAT is building in a calculator into the app that you're gonna use to test from. And so you don't even need to bring a calculator with you on test day if you don't want to, because you can just use the one built in. Now the built-in calculator is through Desmos. So if you've ever used the Desmos online digital calculator before, that's gonna be the one that you can use on the SAT. And we've done some research here at Method, and we've looked into the new practice tests that the College Board has already released for the SAT. And we found that somewhere between 30 and 40% of all the math questions can actually be solved using Desmos. So check out our other videos where we highlight some of the strategies that you can use to figure out the answers to those questions. Hey, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments if there's any topics that you want to see a video on going forward. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out our channel for more content.